What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing the fun 25. All right. This is by uh Kingdom Comics, man, and I like doing these community videos, man. I uh, try to show everybody love in the community, man. And if somebody puts out like a video like this where it just sounds like fun or interesting, anytime I get an opportunity to show off books in my collection, then I'm freaking down, dude. I'm freaking down. One of the main reasons why I started the YouTube channel so that I could share my collection with everyone. Because otherwise, man, it, I was thinking about it. It's just like, otherwise, collections just kind of sit in a box, man. And I want to, I, I enjoy them and stuff like that. But man, I want to share my joy with you guys too. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some of the stuff that I really like. And maybe uh, you'll see a book that you like too. So this is uh, Penthouse Comics number three. All right. I just recently picked this up. This is a magazine. Um, and this I picked up originally because I thought that this was going to be a Adam Hughes cover. All right. And uh, I did read it digitally somewhere on the dark web or something uh, for research purposes. And, and I, for real, for research purposes, I was trying to find out if this was an Adam Hughes cover because it does not say it on the label, all right? And as you can see, uh, CGC's quality control is great at work. As you can see how well that, that label is in there, how straight it is. Uh, but it does not say who the cover was, all right? I had to do some research and it turns out on the inside, it does say that this is a cover by Ray Lago, all right? And I feel like this guy was underrated, man. He did some stuff with Predator and he also did some stuff with uh, Robocop. Uh, I think it was like Mortal Coil story or whatever. I don't know. I might have some of those in here somewhere. If I see them, I can, I'll show them to you in the fun 25. All right, another book. All right, I've been loving these little BCW little cases. They come with little hanger. You can hang them already. All right, this is a Clayton Crane Aliens number one variant. Signed by Clayton Crane in the green like alien stuff i'm telling you color and signature placement oh yeah all right so i love that the alien is in the back and the colonial marine is about to get got uh clayton crane all right all the drama aside all the other stuff aside i think he is an excellent artist especially when it comes to creatures that are supposed to look wet like symbiotes right and i think aliens which always look slimy and black and stuff i think these are were perfect for his style uh, so I had to, I had to. Another alien that I have is uh, by Mike Mayhew. And this is a, um, this is a homage to X-Men 234. All right, where X-Men, or he's like uh, with, uh, except with Wolverine. And this is signed in purple by Mike Mayhew. So I freaking love this. Again, it's in one of these little fancy pants cases. And I love that the face hugger is in the barcode box. All right. Uh, Lucio Parrillo, Parrillo, all right, check out this Harley Queen, man, uh, I love this cover, all right, so they came out with two versions of this, the other one was like the more modern look on Harley Quinn, get this light out of the way, but I love the original suit a lot better, and I love Button Lou, I think that they're awesome uh, characters as well. And uh, yeah, man, I think this is a little bit on the cheesecakey side, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen worse, man. I've seen worse. This one, next one was a gift, right? By my friend Geeks. Was it a gift? No, I bought this from him, but still, it felt like a gift. <laughs> and uh, this is, uh, what is this? Detective Comics 994, right? And this is a Mark Brooks cover, all right? Signed by Mark Brooks himself. And I love this cover, man. This cover looks uh, awesome. Look at the reflection of the boy inside of the blood of his parents. Holy crap, dude. Also having a Aquaman background. Hey, that's not bad, man. That's not bad at all. You guys seen on this channel that I'm always complaining about foil covers. They're like, oh yeah, those foil, foil covers suck. Uh, and I stand by that. But sometimes when foil covers are like done, uh, especially like and it's, i think they are i think they're like a money grab i think yes if you do them like a regular cover and just let people have the foil covers but i think when they just take a, a, a regular variant and then just make it foil and then make it a ratio i think that's lazy man but sometimes foil covers can be really creative uh for example this flash right here man this flash is number 56 um panel cn panel cn i don't know I'm not familiar with this artist, but check out the lightning bolts. The lightning bolts are the only thing foil on this thing. 
and that looks amazing it looks great this is a book that i just picked up this year this is uh poison ivy i believe this is number one by dan mora this is the team variant so far i'm not gonna lie this is like one of my favorite uh covers that have come out of that series man uh it's just got it all it's got the classic look it's got this surly it's got a great perspective it's got a great position you can tell it's poison ivy and it looks fresh it just looks fresh to death all right next we're going to be looking at a green lantern number 16. this book looks amazing it, it should be going to cgc pretty soon uh this is an awesome cover right here by mark Teixeira. this is birds of prey number 69 baby nice all right and i love this huntress cover it's one of my favorite huntress covers it's not one you see a whole lot you can find it in dollar bins and stuff uh, but you can see the cops have kind of like put your hands up and you can tell she's like whatever she does not care she just drops it she's like hey, i'm going to jail uh not everyone can pull off a rain cover but i think tech share uh, really uh, pulled it out of the park on this one uh yeah man one of the greatest villains of Marvel is going to be Carnage. And this is Carnage A Wonderful Life, a sequel to Carnage Mind Bomb. And uh, this is just like the story that made me really like Carnage. I was like, man, Carnage is so crazy, so evil, man. And if you enjoy like, if you enjoy like, um, uh, if you enjoy like that new show on tech, uh, Netflix about Jeffrey Dahmer, you'll probably enjoy reading uh, Mind Bomb and It's a Wonderful Life because it's kind of a serial killer kind of vibe and tells of the crypt you got the crypt keeper in the back there you know take it taking a bite out of that little cheesecake back there all right underrated hero here for sure i mean he did have his own show and stuff but i never really watched it but man he looks cool as hell on this cover man yeah yep 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 mama said knock you out he's just like bah right in the face dude dude's heads it's like snapping back dude he got it right in the chin man dude is getting messed up Another underrated hero is, uh, or I would say, I should say anti-hero probably, it's gonna be Omega Man. Uh, who did this cover? Uh, Mike DiCarlo. Keith Giffen and Mike DiCarlo did the art and cover. So I love this cover, man. It reminds me a lot of like the crispy uh, Jack Kirby crackle that you got going on. Uh, recent edition right here. This is Dark Horse Comics number one from 1992 and uh i really love this predator dude look at that face that's a face only a mother can love all right and uh and it looks fantastic he looks crazy with the dreads this guy's a straight killer he doesn't care how what he looks like He'd be the ugliest dude on the planet earth but he's also probably the deadliest as well so i love this and this cover is by dan dorman all right I excellent excellent cover but not only that but it's a wraparound too that's why i had to get this in the cgc because you got the man himself, the machine back there, RoboCop. And he just looks great. He's like straight into action, dude. It's just love, love this wraparound. I think I'm like at 12 or something. All right, Strange Adventures, number 201. Uh, love this. This is Silver Age right here. It looks pretty crispy. Still got like a little bit of gloss. I don't know if that's Gorilla Grot or anything, but he's wearing the Beetlejuice suit. Uh, absolutely love this. I love that cover, man. Uh, I, I love Animal Man. He's, he looks great. Uh, oh, here's uh, the book that was homaged right here. Looks good. And I found Mortal Coil. This I told you guys I'd be back with this. Uh, and I, this is a cover by Ray Lago. This is uh, this is Dark Horse Comics number nine, and this is the cover by Ray Lago. All right. And this is just a badass painted cover of RoboCop. He's just like holding up that steel beam with one arm and then he's just like firing at the bad guys with the other arm and this is just a fantastic cover man i love it i love this uh world's finest number 12. this is a huntress and power girl world's finest right here and uh i forget who does this i think it was uh ryan sook yeah ryan sook that this co did this cover so we see huntress back there getting knocked out and power girl she's not having any of it dude look at her, her eyes dude she's starting to power up dude when a kryptonian lights up her eyes dude uh they're either about to fart or you're in trouble dude so here is aquaman uh this is number 37 i just love the nick cardi action going on right here the lighting coming up from up above it's like it's like an underwater cavern and stuff you got uh i forget the name of the warriors and aqualad back there looking a little pathetic uh man i hate sidekicks but this one looks awesome, the awesome cover. Here's another one, number 45. 
Aquaman wanted dead. All right, I don't know who that lady is. It doesn't look like Mira, but she's pretty sad that Water, uh, Aquaman got knocked out. Probably by Black Manta, man, because Black Manta's a bad man. He doesn't mess around. Uh, here's a, one of my favorite Sea Devil covers. Probably top three Sea Devil cover. And this is Sea Devil's number three, I think. Uh, yeah, number three. And uh, this is the Ghost of the Deep. And look at the size of this lady. She's like a giant. And she's got a freaking dragon. She's probably like the Khaleesi of the underwater world. It looks amazing. All right, I got a few more, man. I got a few more. Action Comics 261. Love this. Love this. Love this. So the cover's detached. It's actually been taped and stuff. Uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, check that out. This is the first appearance of Streaky, the super cat. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Great, great, nice, underrated key. And here is the Creeper number three. This looks pretty good, man. And this is actually not meant to look like that. That is actually water damage right there. But it's like the most creative water damage. Like this whole cape is supposed to be like uh, like red. And then the, all the letters are supposed to be purple. So, But I think that that's the nicest, most artistic looking water damage. And this is a beautiful cover. I forget who did this cover. I'm not sure if this was like a Neil Adams cover or not. But it looks great. Uh, then I have aliens, the deadliest of the species, three out of 12. Um, I can't, I, I want to say this is a John Bolton cover. I, I believe that this is somebody who worked on some of the Swamp Thing stuff as well. Uh, but this reminds me of like Glenn Fabry vibes. Definitely got some Glenn Fabry going, stuff going on here. And uh, she's just holding up that predator head and she's just kind of staring into it. It's kind of Shakespearean to be honest. And I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, uh, Adam Hughes Electra cover, one of the best Electra covers in my opinion. I really do enjoy Adam Hughes cover and the best part is that these are cover price as well. So uh, awesome, awesome. And then the fact that they use the negative space in the back. Also, I'm pulling this one out from the archives, man. This is a prize that I won for uh, writing a what if Black Manta story versus uh, uh, Mira. Hey, yo, 84, man, you got to bring that contest back so I can uh, finish the story and give it the second half. I think it ended on a cliffhanger. But uh, yeah, this was my prize. And, you know, I'm a big uh, Black Panther fan and uh, or this might be Killmonger because it's gold. So this just looks amazing, man. Amazing. I think this is Killmonger. I'm going to say this is Killmonger. Uh, last book I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be uh, Just a Society of America. Alex Ross, super uh, power girl looking uh, strong as hell. Uh, and I guess I'll show you guys this one, Alex Believe as well. So classic cover. Shout out to Kingdom Comics. If you guys just want to do fun 25, it doesn't even have to be 25. It's just like, just grab whatever you can grab and uh, just show whatever you want, man. It's, it doesn't have to be, uh, it doesn't have to be huge books, man. It's just stuff that you love that makes you excited. And, uh, and with that being said, man, this was fun and, uh, you guys stay cool.